Okay, so um, I'm afraid that uh, uh, global cooperation is uh, uh, encouraged, in particular where, when uh, the interests of uh, um, elitist groups uh, are uh, touched. That, an example is uh, fake news. Fake news are uh, much more limited than other kind of risks, but they have been tackled as more urgent than others. And uh, also the policy making process and regulatory um, uh, the, um, activity, the, the attempt to regulate uh, this uh, problem has been uh, much faster than for other issues. So um, I'm afraid that global cooperation will be more uh, effective when uh, the, elites, the, the, the interests of elite, elites, uh, small groups of people who have, uh, uh, in particular when they have policy makers themselves are, tackle, are tackled. And that's a problem because uh, uh, the web uh, is, as, is um, one of the main risks, like one of the risks of the, um, the web that I've been uh, studying is, for example, sexual uh, trafficking, human trafficking, sexual exploitation and abuse. And, uh, and luckily, these uh, issues uh, uh, touch people who are not uh, uh, in policy making. Uh, they are, in the same cases, children or uh, at risk uh, population. Uh, uh, so it's, um, I think there is a human responsibility from policymakers that they, they should uh, consider and not only uh, when their interests are uh, tackled. Uh, I, so I think they should tend to act fast even when uh, uh, the interest of children, for example, or uh, uh, people who are affected by these uh, um, crimes uh, are, uh, are touched. More activism, maybe? That would be nice, an ideal word. <laughs>